if your goal is to be authentic and your goal is to expand and to elevate and to know yourself and be confident then document your life show yourself that what you believe in that you can stand on what you believe in and that you're capable of anything how do you know you're capable of anything here is the proof for you
what I need and I get what I want. If this was Bebo, my YouTube page, this would be the song when you press it like give yeah, money have fun. Bring a little checks to fun. All blue hearts no one. Hi friend, hi friend. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Quinn, I'm 27. I'm an applied mathematician and systems modeling PhD candidate. I make lifestyle vlogs about staying authentic while elevating and transforming throughout adulthood. So if you're looking for a balanced lifestyle content, this is a place for you. I talk a lot about systems, productivity, healthy habits, and womanhood. So today is actually December 24th is Christmas Eve it's literally Christmas Eve and it's a Sunday which means it's my reset day and we're in the full swing of New Year prep and this is especially exciting for me as a PhD candidate I am completing my dissertation right now and will graduate in 2024 so I actually get to envision a full new life for myself next year where I want to go what I want to do how I want to dress like everything but while vision boarding and goal setting is absolutely important, I've actually spent quite a lot of time this December reflecting on how I've actually gotten to this point in order to plan out 2024. Like, what did old me say she wanted when she applied to grad school? What did, you know, the what was the original idea when I decided to start this channel? Like, I know what I want now, but how does what I want now, how is that impacted by what I originally wanted? And is there any dreams I forgot that I can actually reclaim now that I have more knowledge and power so december has been a major month of reflection for me and it has just made me actually feel so grateful for documenting my life i think documentation and recording a life is incredibly important in order to do real reflection and i don't like when i only see people doing goal setting without the reflection i really think that goal setting without reflection is just a practice of self-hate like when I wrote my list of where I want to go versus where I am, it just felt like I was writing a personal ick list of everything I am not doing and should be doing. And that does not actually feel really good. So I was like, what have I done to get to where I am right now? Like, have, has, have I always been like this? No. I uh, literally prayed for times like this. I literally built up these habits brick by fucking brick, dog. So I appreciate being able to go back and see how I got here because as adults and as just like ambitious people we tend to always move the goalposts like the goalposts might be a hundred followers and then oh well <laughs> now it's this and so when you're at a hundred followers it suddenly feels like oh I have all this space to go but what about when you were at zero bitch how did you get from there to there you know like <laughs> that's what I care about and I think that is important for understanding personal history and history builds appreciation and respect and trust like i can appreciate where i am now because i know i wasn't here before i can respect myself for the hard work i put in to get where i am now i trust myself and my ability to bring myself to the new place because of my proof that i've gotten to where i am so it's just like the reflection has been so so necessary to figure out what can I do? How can I take what I'm already doing up a notch? Realistically, but also thinking big. And honestly, y'all, the big picture has really come to me. Like, I actually, the next five years, I could write them out for you day by day, month by month. That is how serious I am about my life vision and what I want. And I would not have been able to do that if it hadn't been for so much documentation of my life. I have been documenting my life since high school, at least. And I... I'm so grateful for it because it has gotten me so incredibly far. I actually have a daily, weekly, and monthly reflection practice. So even though I've been doing a, a lot of yearly reflection this month, I'm only able to do that from my daily, weekly, and monthly reflection habits and documentation. So today I want to tell you the three reasons why I think everyone should be documenting their life in some form. Everybody don't need to start a YouTube channel if they don't want to. It doesn't have to be public, but I think every single person alive, especially every single black person, should be documenting their life in some kind of way because this is literal history. So let me tell you why. Once I actually drink my tea because she might be cold now. She might be cold now. I gotta drink my tea and get ready for my morning walk. It's Sunday, reset day. It starts with the morning walk. So let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm gonna make 
teaching people how to live indigenous, right? But like, not to the indigenous, like, ah, oh, we gotta go back to leaving the land. No, be indigenous in your ways. That's what your habits, that's what your WPP is, right? So we teach how to keep our money within ourselves. So when you meet somebody that vibe with you, you have a good vibe, they fall into one of these five categories. Their potential client, their potential mentee, mentor, an investor, or referral source. You gotta have to say it again central referral source to someone in your network because part of networking is connecting people like like oh yo you do this and oh man that person do this y'all should do this. you should hit, hit them up here's their instagram look i'm i send people to more other people instagrams than i do to my own so like because i know like they're going to think about me like that's why i'm always in people posts if you're in my frequency you're going to do that that's you're going to bruh like, like I said, I've been around social media since fucking Facebook, I mean, MySpace, since fucking Mienta and Black Planet. Like, I was in the military social media and girls. Like, I, like, like, I, like, I grew up with technology. So, mm -hmm. like, my humility comes within the conversations that I can have. And what you're doing, like I said, it's an honor to help you. I, I want to go through your process. I want to be a part of it. And this is how we help. We spend a set time. We have a discovery period. Mm -hmm. And over 90 days, right, we'll figure out, like, those three quarters. Like, I'm three, six, nine. I love the numbers. So over those 90 days, we get to figure out if we're good for each other. Like, the reason I talk about that is because you are already worthy. Like your, your papers and your doctors just gonna make sense for people to why they're in your world. But mm -hmm. you creating this funnel is gonna allow the people that fuck with you, not just for money. Like money is dope, but like, like you did that video for us. We didn't pay you a dollar. And I share that because I know where, this is my first meeting coming out of the solstice. And it ties into why, it ties into my mission personally because your science, right? And that's your math. I just told you I met somebody that dwarf math. That mm -hmm. you're gonna start, y'all gonna come into each other's world. Cause I already created a community. Mm -hmm. Like that's the part of being a mentor and a client or investor. I have a network. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. so, and, and when you when you tell your network, call to actions. When you tell your network to check out this person video. Yo, type in course to get this free dope ass planner. So it's like, when you do that, it allows us to stay in alignment with our assignment. 
And then as you as you get your three, six, and nines from the people that did the call to actions, you'll get to see who's because from the after the video, you can get them to go to sign up for WPP or to sign up for a call. <laughs> And in the planner, there's a link to WPP. Everywhere you you see my name, there's a link to it. So, um, so yeah, like you, like I said, you're you're already lit. It's just putting the fire behind it. Yeah, like how you said your networking community. Like you already, you're about to send your community through a boot camp. Like I tell everybody, it's what? a disclaimer. Where I, uh, you me? I called it a um um. What did I say? Uh, how I wrote it down somewhere. Doctor Jones's something course like as a, a a course led by me um but like not taught but led like literally like by example um yes. like i'm a student with you not just a leader type vibe um um so like that's why i'm like waiting because i'm gonna call it that once i like get my degree in like you know um <laughs> uh uh and it's a club i have from my course you know so like my my course it's like my videos and like the membership and like all of these things um then you can be a part of the club because these are the things that support that you know what i'm saying type type vibe um, members of the like that's and that's that's why like when i tell people i'm a veteran i let them know i went through the process because you you've worked hard for this this phd mm -hmm. you work and it's like i already know you dr jones like, what's up, doctor? Look, PhD, right? He called himself PhD Kyrie. <laughs> That's one of the dopest reasons why I fuck with him and why I record with him. Because he knows that he's a, a spiritual leader. You're, you're a leader of the, the next wave. And like I said, it's going to be exciting for us to be able to revive with next steps, right? Y'all, that talk with Rima was so fantastic. Like, literally amazing. I got so many downloads from it and just spent a heck of a time actually just... Look at all the downloads I got from this meeting. Literally, so many about just like conceptualizing who I am. And literally, that's the first point that I want to talk about when I actually go on my walk about how documenting our lives is actually a way to become our own muse. And so much of what we talked about, I'm actually going to share as clips into this video because I just loved the conversation and it was very relevant. So I'm actually going to go on my walk now. I, <laughs> I had to wait for my... I had to wait for my headphones to charge because they were dead. My phone was dead. But uh, and I had the meeting. So like while my things were charging, I had the meeting. I had my downloads and I get to go on my walk. And I'm just so happy that we recorded the video that it actually oh oh my gosh, let me see. Oh, so good. I got all of it. I got all the footage. I I literally I'm just, this is why you document your life. I become my own muse. I'm literally going to watch this back so I can get back the language. It's like when you study for classes. I said I was going to do it on my walk. It's like when you study for classes. It's literally like when the instructor, when the instructor teaches a lesson and they, and you missed the class or you didn't get all of it. So you replay it back and you get the specific language and the specific lessons. That's the benefit of documenting your life. You get the specific lessons, the specific stuff. You lived it, so you know the general, the general message. But do you know the specifics? Do you know the lesson for real? And that's the do that's the benefit. That's how you become your own muse by documenting your life. So let's get into it. Let me go on my walk. Everything's charged. Let's go. <laughs> fucking way.
Oh my gosh. So I wanted to talk more about <laughs> the first reason why everyone should be documenting their life. And I feel even more reaffirming this after the meeting with Remo because it just gave me even more downloads about, you know, my purpose and how I've been doing this for a long time and how all of that has brought me to where I am. And I think it's because documenting my life has allowed me to become my own muse. I've been able to be inspired by my old self and evolve her into who I am today. I feel like when it comes to a lot of vision board and goal setting, we find inspiration and it's easy to let that be our goals instead of customizing the goals. Like this person has 100K subscribers, so I should do everything like how they do. My, you know, do certain styles of editing and certain types of types of shots and talk about certain things so you might try to force yourself into that that kind of box and to do that kind of thing so you can get that kind of result instead of being inspired by your own story and your own destination and letting that shape what you do like when i stopped trying to make my channel my math my journey about what someone else was doing and instead about like what did was my original idea what was my original dream you know it allows me to go back to my life what i've been documenting and see my patterns oh every winter it's like this every fall i found this when i do this habit i feel this way when i do this thing i look that way like oh i looked really good during that time what was i doing what was i talking about um, when I started my channel, what did I have in mind? When I wanted to get my PhD, what was my original goal? What's my goal now? How do those two connect or align? How has one an evolution of the other? Has it changed completely? And then how, how can I incorporate it back or whatever? Like just being able to see the documentation of my thoughts, my ideas, my body, my lifestyle, my mindsets allows me to be my own muse. And now everything that I'm doing in 2024 is fully inspired by me. I watch other people's videos for inspiration about lifestyle editing and everything but when it comes to what I talk about my message I am not doing anything for the validation of others but more for the documentation for myself so that I can do like I did earlier this month and watch my first late 20s diary probably elementary school I brought up and I was like I think I like girls and they were like no you don't and compare it to my recent messages and tell me friend did the inconsistency of your childhood leave you with the need to chase high and low relationships seeing how it's the same thing but evolved but different language and how i can reincorporate some of that language into the videos that are coming up when i start my sex talk series so like evolving my own ideas being inspired from myself you know to document our lives allows us to also see our strengths and our weaknesses i can very clearly see for myself and i wrote this down after the meeting with remo about how i have always been public speaking since i was a child i have been writing since i was a child i've had many experiences of documenting my life before i even thought about what a vlog channel is i even turned out to be have been inspired by my family without even knowing it i discovered that my mom also documented many of the photo albums in my family and that she was the person to be the picture person and now that's me and i didn't even know that here i am thinking i'm unique turns out everything i got i got from my mom grew up obsessed with those film books or what are they called they're called um photo albums that we have in our living room and so i've been rummaging through all the closets as I do when I come home once a year. And she has a whole camera bag, a professional camera bag with film and, and look at this, look at this, where you go? To know that my desire to document my family and my life came from more than me feels very validating in this moment. This is so cool. Amazed. I didn't know about any of this. So, by doc her documentation has given me proof of her life and her message and our family, and that has inspired me. And the documentation of my life inspires me even more. And so, there's just so much benefit because who will I inspire by sharing my story, by documenting my life? Like I know I'm benefiting from it, by but by also sharing it, which not everyone has to do. But I enjoy sharing it so that I, the way that I was inspired by seeing what my mom did, by seeing what other Black women do, their processes, their stories. I know that this is important for someone else who might end up being like, I could do that too, for myself. When we shine a light on 
what makes us unique it allows people to shine light on their own uniqueness and that's why we should be documenting our lives so we can all see that huh we're so alike but we're all so different and that's okay and that is how we're always forever inspired forever creating forever collaborating and i love it i love documenting my life for this reason i i think becoming my own muse is what keeps me so magnetic it keeps me so you know you don't come to me because I remind you of someone else, but you come to me because of who I am. And that's only because my story comes from my story. You know, I hope that makes sense. But but yeah, y'all, this walk has been really chill. It's very few people outside today and it's definitely giving winter feels with the blue sky and the empty trees. And I'm actually really loving it. This time of death, I actually have a tattoo. I have a tattoo for everything. I really should start talking about them more, but I have this tattoo here of two sunflower leaves changing to represent the, the cycle of life and death and how one requires the other um, life ends in death and death brings new life and how things end and things begin every beginning is an ending every ending is a beginning and that's true for all the stages of life and i just i love the i can also see like different ones on each side i love it so much excited about what this current season of new development and growth will bloom into in the spring when i become dr jones like i'm just i'm so excited for it i'm so excited for the blooming and the evolution that is me the unfolding that is me so yes okay let me let me stop talking i need to go home and do some yoga i need to do some yoga because yeah so i'm just popped when i did that there okay 2024 we're bringing the walks up a notch i've really been getting like three miles a day i've been getting like three miles a day I do an hour and so depending on how fast I'm walking that's definitely two miles and up to three and then if I'm just feeling real sparky or I'm going away where there's like a lot a lot of visual you know variety and everything then I'm definitely definitely getting like three four five miles in so my only problem is when it's too cold and I let that be my excuse which I have been doing this past week but it's Sunday so it's a new beginning it's a new beginning it's a new chance so I do my best to set the tone on Sundays so I got this walk in and hopefully that will set the tone for getting it in the rest of this week I truly 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 see so much more progress in my body and in my like toning when I am getting my walks in like even if I'm working out but not walking then I just feel like I look mostly thick but when I am working out and I'm walking then I look lean and thick you know what I'm saying that's what I'm going for so I gotta start back walking I've been getting like three miles and then like I sleep for two days. So we just gotta get that energy up. We gotta get the energy up. We're getting the routines and time management together. Okay? Together. Period.
doing my cues review my weekly cues review and that's something I started actually back at the beginning of 2023 it is the end of 2023 we're entering the last week of the year and I had this brain idea apparently like January 1st of 
just how do I use my community tab apparently and I went from just writing in my notes app and then copying it into the community post to going on a trip and being inspired to get a journalism type branding for my channel and made a picture version of the list and then I started actually doing weekly resets to help me make the review easier and then when I did the reset I started actually making a checklist and a video for that and then after I made the video after I made the video and there was such a good reception I was like other people could benefit from doing this too so why not do it together and boom we have the WPP club we're productive people where we meet every Sunday to reset together affirm each other and just make sure that we are actually making better choices and then for WPP now that I once I made that I decided to make the weekly report card which is essentially a um, template version of the weekly review that I do for myself but in a way to grade our own individual experiences and make it more personal and from the weekly report card what is in my eye honey and from the weekly report card I was inspired to update the weekly review to what it is now which I just made a couple of days ago actually and I really love the new formatting and it matches the report card and it all just started from an idea from back in January and that is why I believe that everybody should be documenting their life getting to see the evolution of my ideas and my body and my mindset like from my videos and my journals is amazing and invaluable and it actually gives me proof of my concept it, it gives me proof of concept and it puts it out there for you know credibility and, and trust i feel like a lot of people are very scared to be seen trying and often only put out ideas that are 100 percent thought out and at their final 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 form as if that's ever true about anything and just hold on to so many good ideas and then they look up and see someone else with their idea that they just never did anything with and now it's sadsies right so i believe it's important to actually document our ideas when they come up our our feelings our experiences so that when it's time to reference them we have the the proof the the explanation and i feel like that's important for just walking in your truth like taking ownership of our ideas is an important part of building self-trust and becoming confident people so being able to actually document your choices and document whatever you're choosing to from the beginning instead of when you feel like you're at the end it can be very very beneficial i have found and i feel like just how my cues of you went from one thing to a club to what is going to be honestly something very big very very big i know that it's important to document how ideas get to turn into newer ideas this year's good idea could be next year's great idea could be the next year's breakthrough idea which could be the you know what i mean like you don't know where it will take you but if you forget it because you didn't write it down you didn't record a voice note you didn't say it real quick now it is lost forever and it flew its way to someone else so i think it's important to document for that alone and i often think about as like reference how i see a lot of beyonce literally being inspired by herself there was a thread on twitter one time and i literally could not find it but there are many threads of her tour evolution outfits how the things she wore in the renaissance tour were different a uh, different kind of version and the um run the world tour and a different kind of version before that and how it's just like getting better and better each time as she gets more money more experience more resources and if she hadn't tried it then to get to where she is now she wouldn't have gotten lemonade she wouldn't have gotten you know uh beyonce self-titled like it's that reflection it's that actual documentation of being the end that we get these documentaries that we get these inspiration that we get the being able to be inspired by ourselves i've literally made um mood boards of my own pictures and i've made hair reference guides of my own pictures and i've made study guides for myself like documentation has been very very important for seeing evolution and learning more and actually being able to grow with myself with me at the center instead of what i think i should be doing because of society so yeah if your goal is to be authentic and your goal is to expand and to elevate and to know yourself and be confident then document your life show yourself that what you believe in that you can stand on what you believe in and that you're capable of anything how do you know you're capable of anything 
here is the proof for you you don't have to share it publicly if you do not want but you can always go and see like i got myself from here to here i got myself from here to here here's how i did it or here's how i felt doing it or whatever you decide to document but the, i i am capable i know i am capable because i see i am capable i know i'm capable because i see my parents were capable because i can see that other black women are capable because i can see that other people in my identity are capable because there's documentation there's proof there's evidence there's letters journals videos of what we know to be true for ourselves is out there we get inspired and we keep moving forward so document your life i'm just i'm just saying document your life so yeah document your life my opinion so yes baby oh she's so beautiful <sighs> the updated format of the cues review so it, my my whole branding theme and the live with queen live with queen which did you say when you saw my name live or live um and uh like the 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 theming and the branding and the the sounds i just i love it like media cameras machines mathematics i'm it's all clicked together for me so well like when i say the big picture has come to me so clearly from all of the reflection that i have done and then learning that my mother was the one that made the photo albums and then learning like just everything that i've learned this year these last 27 years i'm just like wow i see what i can do let's do it Literally, let's do it.
teaching me life. So only half that memory's worth. Y'all, tea is finally a part of my nighttime routine, thank God. I have not liked tea for most of my life because of an incident when I was younger. I mistook a cup of tea for Kool-Aid, and so I was expecting sweetness, and I was like, what the fuck is this? And sore off tea ever since, but now that I'm an adult and I know about its health benefits, and we all know about the healthy habits, I've been trying it, and I actually have found a way to enjoy it. And I'm like, I look forward to my morning and my nighttime tea. And now I can buy mugs. I'm a slut for home decor. So now I'm like, oh, the mug collection is going to get serious because I don't drink coffee. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm having my little moment. Like, I, get, I look forward to this nighttime part of my routine. So I love it. I check in on my journal. I just drink my tea. I light my bowl. And I relax into pleasure for the night. And I start my day with pleasure. And then I'm productive in between. So. Anywho, now that I'm done with my routine, let me tell y'all about the last reason why I think everybody should be documenting their life, essentially. The third reason why people should be documenting their life is essentially because I feel like there's a very famous quote by Nina Simone. This duty, as far as I'm concerned, is to reflect the times. I think that is true of, of, of painters, sculptors, poets, musicians. I, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's their choice. But I choose to reflect the times and the situations in which I find myself. That to me is my duty. I, and, and, and at this crucial time in our lives, when everything is so desperate, when every day is a matter of survival, I don't think you can help but be involved. A lot of us, whether we are writers or painters or photographers or videographers or content creators or mathematicians or scientists all of that is art everything about life to me is art the way we wear our clothes the places we go to the choices we make the relationships we form the the things we express that's all artistic to me because it is unique and individual and from a place of authenticity like for most people and so I see everything as art which means that everyone has a duty to reflect the time their personal time in their life what's happening in the world right now and I think that's valuable documenting our lives for the sake of understanding that this is history like literal history I am black so anything that I accomplish could contribute to black history. I am a woman that could contribute to black women's history. I am, you know, from Mississippi, so I'm contributing to Mississippi history. Like, and then I'm also committing to my, uh, contributing to my family. So this is my family history. And, and um, there's so many people's histories that's wrapped up in my history. And so I'm documenting that. And because this is history, because it's my history, my family's history, I think that's incredibly important, especially for any marginalized communities and identities. Like, there's a reason why they're burning the books and why they're hiding the curriculums and why they're destroying the real history and obstructing the truth. Because people learn from the truth. People learn from history. People learn from examples. So if there aren't any, then people can't grow and learn and change. So maybe we need more examples, more good examples, more documentation of what is right and not just what is wrong and what is led to be believed. So why not document our lives individually so that we can learn from each other? And if each other only means me and my siblings, if each other only means me and my community, that's fine, it doesn't have to be me and the world, but there are people, including yourself, that can learn from the things you learn in your, <laughs> in your own life, and your experiences. There are lessons that my mother has documented that I now no longer have to go through experience for myself because I have her history to refer to as a reference, as a lesson. And even in that regard, I currently still have my parents and my siblings, thank God, but people do die. People 
are you know move away or go to jail or there are things that happen where we can't talk to them as often if at all and these are memories their history and their memories and people i have seen accounts of people being like i love listening to this voicemail over and over or, i wish i knew this was the last photo of us or i am so happy to rewatch the time we moved into this house or my, my child was born or that i went to this place or I, what did that food look like like anything that sets our heart alight that we remember it's okay to die document because that is memories and that grounds us and that keeps us realizing that our lives are good if we aren't on the days where I don't take pictures of anything I often do wonder like what did I do what good what was good about that day but if I have pictures or notes or something from that day then I can be like oh that's right this is what I did this is how I felt I'm gonna move forward in this way and I think that's just incredibly beneficial for setting goals for being productive for being authentic understanding who we are and that is easier to do and that is easier to do when we document our lives and i personally just feel called to document for myself because i know that this is groundbreaking in my family my brother is the first to get a phd at all my mother was the first to go to college and so me my mom and my brother are really like breaking the barriers for what our family has done and accomplished and I'm taking it that step further. I'm doing a PhD and I'm doing content creation and I'm doing writing um, and just expanding what the, showing the people in our family that so much is possible and like getting more resources so that we can then hand back to our community and uplift more people. And I just feel that that's important and I know that I wanna set a great example for my niece for my little sister, for my cousins, and show that how did I get from here to here? I'm documenting all of it so that I can learn, so that they can learn, so that the undergrads in math that want to do things can learn, so that me a year from now can learn, so that all of us can learn from what's going on. I don't really think there's a lot of value in doing lessons twice unless you just didn't get it the first time. So go back and watch the lecture if you didn't get it the first time. This is the lecture. <laughs> so those are all the reasons why I think everyone should be documenting their life. It doesn't have to be shared. It doesn't have to be public or it could be public. Any kind of documentation is relevant for making sure that we're actively contributing to the change we want to see in the world and that we're standing on the things we say we believe in. And we can only do that if we reflect and we have the things to reflect on. So we can document our lives through writing about it you can make poetry you can write stories you can do journal entries you can um you can make songs like there's so many ways to use the written word and language to document life there is a visual ways to document life through videos and pictures and you know collages and and you know all kinds of ways visually to understand like what's happening in your mind and your body and your life right now and then we can also document things through auditory so if you just want to record a voice note or between yourself or you and a family member or or um do an interview with someone then you can just listen back to it like we would a podcast or a book reading <laughs> so or an audio <laughs> or an audiobook so we can document our lives in all kinds of ways and learn in whichever way is best for us not everyone wants pictures some people just might want to write a letter every day there's just so many ways to document our, our lives i personally do all three um i write a lot in my daily column in my monthly newsletter in my weekly review and i also have pictures in all of those and i have these videos as visual documentation so i document my life in all kinds of ways and i do it publicly and i do it privately a lot of people think that I'm an oversharer, but baby, you don't know what's really in my journal or what's really in my mind because my my journal is explicit and then I take the explicit and I turn it into a summary as the communicator I am. And so my public sharing is more of a synopsis and my private documentation is explicit detail. And I enjoy it that way because it's easier to just get the quick highlights from the synopsis, but it's still realistic. And if I need to understand more, I can go through my private journal. So I really learned a lot for myself through documentation. Which one do you do? Do you do content creation? Do you write any? Do you, are you an artist? Like in what ways have you been documenting your life and your feelings? I really want to know. And if you do have a summer public, please put the info there so I can follow you and be a part of your community because I'm here for all of the incredible, talented, ambitious people actually doing their shit. If that's you, I hope I see you in my next video.
<laughs> Bye, friend. Mm. That was delicious.